Hey, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Racha, Kudash. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh Shah been the name of the only begotten Son, the King of Israel, and the Racha Kudash being the Holy Spirit. Right, all in the Lashawan Kudash, the Holy Tongue, the Paleo Hebrew, the Tongue of the Heavens. Double honors to the elders and the apostles that do well overseeing the tabernacle of David, which are the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Greetings and salutations to you, Akim, as well as you, Akwath, uh, that upholding testimony of Yahweh Shah in truth and sincerity. Akim being brothers. Akwath being sisters but um as far as um you know in a side note on that and when you actually referring to man and woman you can simply say Akim and that can cover cover all but for edification's sake all right this is Jaikwa out of the command and leadership of Great Millstone Atlanta Church with a lesson of exhortation and edification um to the sheep the laborers uh, of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. This is a, excuse me, this is a Greek edification. Um, um, as you can see at the top, uh, we'll be dealing with the book of Ephesians, the fourth chapter, in both the 26th and the 27th verse. All right, now Lord willing, this is edifying. We're going to start off in the King James, and then we're going to go to the Greek. All right. So this is uh, Ephesians chapter four, verse 26. Uh, and we're gonna address, verse, address it verse by verse, all right? So it says, be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, right? So when you're, even if you're upset, you know, if you're angry, if, if you've been done wrong in this society, utilize wisdom. Don't be emotionally oriented when it comes to your decision making. Dealing with the scriptures, dealing with the Israelites, the elect, the hopeful elect, we're said to be kings and priests. These are people who have to make judicial decisions, very vital life and death decisions. Um, so the decision has to be correct. All right. All right. And it has to be well thought out, well thought out and um, profitable. All right, so we have to conduct ourselves as that manner before the Heavenly Father returns and grants us these these thrones and these positions of authority where we have to practice and enact these things. As it is written, this is our, our, uh, a righteous rehearsal. All right, so let's deal with the Greek. I'm going to read it through verse 26, and then we're going to break it down. By All right, this is verse 26. It says, kai me... Amartanete a Helios me epiduto epi to paratgismo umon. All right, so it says argizeste, which means be angry or be angry, coming from the root essence of, um, as you see, argizo, argizo, all right, which means angry. It says, kai, meaning and, me, all right, so when you see these symbols, this is a me. I, I haven't did a Greek alphabet lesson, but for those, just to familiarize you, this is a, a ma and this is a e. So me, which means not or no, and not. Amartanete. Amartanete, which means and not sin. Amartanete, right? Ma, rr. This is the R sound. Rr, rr. <clears throat> Excuse me. Rr. This is a, that would look like a V is a N. All right. So, Amartanete, sin. All right. And not sin. A, this, all right. A meaning the. Ilias, Ilias meaning son, me, not, epiduto, 
epi, um, from the Greek epi meaning upon, all right, duotho, which is essentially meaning sunset. In the New Testament, chiefly, when this epiduotho means sunset, if you ever see that in the New Testament, it's talking about a sunset. All right, it says epi upon, so let not the sun set upon to, uh, to, um, to meaning the pargismo, 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 wrath. Humon, your, otherwise known as su. That's where the Spanish gets the term su, like su casa, your house. It comes from the Greek humon, which also in other contexts of writing would be written su, otherwise known as su. All right. So, you know, these are the chief words that probably you want to. I'm not gonna say that's the chief words to practice. Those are the most kind of the difficult and most complex words. The um, angry, um, argizeste, um, amartanete, and paragismo for wrath. You know. All right, verse twenty-seven. Let's see. All right, this is verse twenty-seven. It says, "Neither give place to the devil." All right, and so this, what that's saying is when it says neither give place to the devil, don't give the devil an opportunity to uh, um, interfere um, with the spirit. All right, if you know if you know certain things come at your at, at your doorsteps via temptation, such as it, it could be women, it could be money, it could be food. Um, you know, it could be a plethora of things in, in that, you know, you have to deal with because a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. You can be eating too, you can eat too many meats and be going off. You can be, you can eat too many meats. And, now, meat is lawful. But the Lord said a false balance is an abomination. That's why you see people getting diabetes, blood pressure, because they, the Lord not dealing with the false balance. He said, a just weight is his delight. All right. All right. And it tells you that in the park for as well. Nevertheless, um, verse 27, let's break it down in the Greek. It says, Mette didate tapasto diabalo. Mette neither didate give. Tapas, excuse me, tapan, tapan, which means place or opportunity. To the, so you can have the in different forms, all right? So like for instance, to is, that's the, and then ah, this is the, all right? So just a pinpoint that out for you. To, all right, diabalo, diabalo meaning devil, all right? And Esau is the physical counterpart of the of the devil on earth. All right, the self-proclaimed white man. The I do since we're dealing with the Greeks, the Idumians, the Edomites. All right, <laughs> all right. Now let's deal with some vocabulary words. All right, so I wrote in the Greek, uh, lagos, lagos. All right, which is uh, or some would say lagos. All right, which is the term for words, all right, a vote, or which is going into vocabulary. <laughs> all right, it says, uh, so this is just going to give you a different kind of format of some of these words because some of the words are in the conjugated essence because it's in the sentence. Um, and this is going to give you a more uh, organic, um, um, uh, more organic compounds of the word and how it's situated. All right. So let's do it. This is a uh, argizo, which means angry. All right. Now, when you like, uh, this is what you need to understand in Greek. When you see this, the uh, O, oh, it's an ah. You pronounce it such as ah. When you see this, it looks kind of like a shot in the Hebrew or a W in the English. It's a uh, O. Oh. 
oh, like diabolo, ba lo. See, all right. And I'm gonna continue. It says kai an, um, amartano, which is sin, which we read earlier. Amartanete, amartanete, and as I said. That V, where, where are we? Should like here. That V, where it looks like a V, it pronounces such as an N. It has an N pronunciation in the Greek. All right, me, or which means not, otherwise known as um, au, all right, no, in definite sense. So that's the, that's, and it's written in that magnitude is a no in a definite sense. All right. Um, let's see here. It says uh, epiduo, epiduo, which means to go down a sunset. All right. Helios, which means sun, is where you come. The where the term helium comes from. Helios, sun. All right. Epi, upon. Umon, of yours. All right, which is otherwise in the essence of su. When you go further to it, into it, is also su. All right. Paragismos, oh, excuse me. Paragismas. Paragismas, which is wrath. And now in Greek, what you'll notice in Greek, uh, Spanish, all the Romantic languages, Arabic, um, Syriac, and I would even venture to say Paleo-Hebrew because Paleo-Hebrew is an ancient tongue in the Eastern tongue. You like you know, uh, with the R's, what we do in English, we don't roll the R's. But if you go to our brothers, like the brothers in Italy or the brothers in Germany or the brothers in South America, if you hear them speak, they um they when the, when the R comes out, they actually roll it because in a lot of the ancient languages with a, a raw sound it's actually rolled all right so that's where you see this right here these are so par ar gismas all right so par ar gismas all right which means wrath par ar gismas all right wrath mete meaning neither did me give is where didate came from. Didome, to give. Tapas, place or opportunity. Tapas. All right. And then diabalos, excuse me, diabalas, which is devil, which is where diabalo came from, where we get in Spanish, diablo. It comes from the Greek, diabalas. Diabalas. All right. So this has been a Hebrew edification. Lord willing, it was edifying. I'm going to give all praises unto Yah, Bashim Yahusha, Bashim Rukakudash, and to the hopeful elect, continue to endure. And our Lord and Savior, Yahusha, is on his way to deliver us. Shalom.